Hey YouTube, T Cardinal Tech here, and today I'm going to be making a video covering, um, quickly covering what happened um, and what was introduced at WWDC 2011 earlier today. The first thing um, they introduced was Mac OS X 10.7 Lion. The first thing I'd like to talk about that Apple unveiled at WWDC today is the full screen mode for all system applications. So now at the in the top right corner of all the system applications, there's a button you can click to go into full screen mode. And everything will work the same, but it will just be in full screen. So the next thing I'd like to talk about that Apple unveiled at WWDC is this thing called Launchpad. And um, basically what it is, is with the press of a button, it lets you access all of your applications in an iPad or iDevice style layout. So you can have multiple pages of applications and you can also make folders and it looks a lot like an iPad. Now the next new feature of Mac OS X line that I'm going to talk about is called Mission Control. Um, it's kind of similar to Expose, um, but as you can see here, um, it's like Expose, like I said, but the applications are grouped together. So there in the top right area, you can see that there are two Safari windows <clears throat> and they're grouped together. And another new cool feature of Mission Control is that you can actually create new spaces by dragging an application window to a little tab on the top right corner and um, that way it will create a new space and for Mission Control you can also view and access um, all your separate spaces. Now the next feature of OS X line that I'm going to talk about is something called versions and basically what this does is um, line auto saves all your documents um, at certain timed intervals and then you can access this thing called versions which shows you all um, the versions of that document that you had before right before each auto save and the good thing is um, it doesn't take up too much space on your hard drive because it doesn't save every single separate document it just saves the changes made between the documents now i'm going to talk about a feature called resume and i'm not sure if i will like this or not but basically every time you quit an application and then reopen it it will open to the exact same place where you were before and they say um quote unquote this can get you working again quicker but i think if you're it might actually slow you down to start new work because generally when I open an application again like Word or Photoshop um, I open it so I can create a new document so this might um, save time in some cases but also lose time in some cases now the next feature is not something they actually mentioned or talk about but it's just something I noticed while I was watching the keynote I noticed that um, the scrolling is actually reversed just like it would be on an iPod so when he was scrolling down on the page um, like he wanted to the page he wanted to look down on the page he was actually sliding his fingers upwards and when he when he wanted to go back t towards the top of the page he was actually sliding his fingers downward so if that is unchangeable um, that'd be kind of weird to get used to but I'm sure you'll have the option to set it as reverse or regular scrolling Next, I'm going to talk about iOS 5. A lot of new features were introduced to iOS 5 in the keynote today, but I'm only going to cover the ones that I thought were the coolest or the ones um, that are kind of big or important. However, you can um, go look at the keynote for yourself to see all of the features that were introduced in iOS 5. The first thing I'm going to talk about that's new to iOS 5 is the new notification system it completely changed up the entire notification system so now when you're playing the game or something and you get a notification there's just going to be a small bar at the top of your screen that notifies you and then to access all of your notifications you simply drag down to the screen from above and it brings up 
brings up a list of all of your recent notifications and it also gives you a stocks and weather widget which I thought was really cool and this is a huge improvement to iOS notifications the next thing I'm gonna talk about is this really cool new feature they added to the camera um, so if you're like me a lot of times you'll want to spontaneously pull out your phone to take a picture so what they did is um, on your lock screen if you double tap the home button um, your music controls will come up but so will a little button you can press to open up your camera and then from your lock screen basically you can take a picture and the cool thing is you can actually use the volume up button as your um, picture taking button so if you saw my previous video or one of my previous videos <clears throat> I talked about kind of what I wanted and expected um, for iOS 5 and I actually mentioned that I wanted either a Facebook or Twitter or social network um, integrated photo uploading system and they actually did introduce a native Twitter photo uploading system also a native tweeting system and you can also tweet things from other system applications like Safari the next thing I'm going to talk about is iCloud and um, like 45 minutes of the keynote was iCloud so obviously I can't give you all the details but I'm just going to give you a brief overview basically iCloud is a cloud syncing service so basically all of your data your music your apps your books all of that will be synced over the cloud to Apple servers and you can also um, kind of transfer photos and music and data between your iDevices that you have so it like all in the background and ex like lightning speed they demoed it and everything um, a photo or an app can or a song can be transferred from your iPhone to the cloud and then back down to your iPad all within seconds so thanks for watching everyone and like I said this was just a quick overview of the two hour keynote um, that was presented today by multiple at Apple executives I'll have a link to the keynote down in the description so you can watch the entire thing and um, be sure to subscribe because I will be making better videos in the near future because I'm getting a new computer thanks peace